Now, the latest fashion statement on the red carpets of the world is bigger bling. And it certainly started a trend, but while nearly two-thirds of women say they want bigger diamonds, for most they've been out of reach, too expensive to even dream about. Until now, as Brian Seymour explains. Kira Knightley to Jessica Alba to Naomi Watts. Brilliant bling is getting bigger. What is ring envy syndrome? They follow the celebrities, follow their peers, uh, tend to look at what other people are doing, so keeping up with the Joneses. Diamond grader Roy Cohen is seeing more and more big stones, a trend confirmed in a survey conducted by the Diamond Certification Lab of Australia, revealing 60% say an engagement ring should at least be a half to one carat. Just looking at these lumps of carbon, what roughly dollar-wise would we be looking at here? Uh, for all of them together, probably well over a million dollars. This one's well out of reach. It's nine carats, radiant cut, costing $400,000. So this is much better than the diamond Kyle Sanderlin's bought for his fiancée? Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't like to say that. <laughs> that diamond uh, is obviously bought from one of the better jewellers and uh, it wouldn't be an all-show-no-dough stone. It'll be a, uh, a seriously a, a quality diamond. Sure, the celebs can afford to splurge on gigantic gems. Then there are diamonds even a celebrity cannot claim. The great star of Africa, the largest ever found at 3,106 carats. The infamous Hope Diamond, said to be cursed, is 45 and a half carats. Then this one celebrity milestone, the $3 million Taylor Burton, brought by Richard Burton for Elizabeth Taylor. Still, don't despair... There's now a real alternative offering all of us a chance to shine. It's very difficult to tell the difference. We still have jewellers and customers telling us they can't tell the difference. This is moissanite, a gemstone made in the laboratory from silicon carbide. It's second in hardness only to diamonds, harder than rubies, flawless and affordable. Worldwide, one in ten women can only ever dream of having the opportunity to wear a one-carat diamond or bigger. With moissanite, seven in ten women actually purchase one carat or bigger for their rings. To give you an idea, one-carat loose moissanite is about $700. A diamond of the same quality, one-carat loose, is 7000 To someone who hasn't got a trained eye, it's very difficult to tell, especially once the, uh, the stone is set. What about this one up here? 16,500 for 16.91 carats. Why is it so much more than that one? 16.91 carats, just over two carats. Under the microscope, cleaned with alcohol and closely examined, the truth is sparkling clear. But would the rest of us ever know? Have a look at that. What do you think that might be worth? About $7,000. One and a half carats. Did you need a microscope? £12,000. £12,000, okay. That was And nine, lastly, nine, you're wondering what's in the box here? Yes. There you go. This one's 2050 This one's 2050 This one's 2270 Can anyone tell me why? Cubic zirconia. No, not cubic zirconia. What are they? Oh, are they people's ashes? No, they're not people's ashes. You can have diamonds no. made out of ashes. You can. And we'll, uh, we'll do that with you later. But no, this, uh, uh, this, this is moissanite. If bigger bling is your favourite star's thing, then this is how you can adopt their dazzle. Even the diamond devotees agree. As long as you know what you're getting, buy whatever you want. So what we don't want to happen is that you spend 20 grand, think you're getting a diamond, and you're not, in fact, getting a diamond. Brian Seymour with that report. Now, the last week... Has